Welcome on in Grey Knight enjoyers. It appears that our tour around Titan has come to an end with this particular review. We have seen the review of the Interceptors as well as the Strike Squad and they've proved to be a little eh. So we will see if the Justicars of the respective squads prove to be any different from their grunt counterparts. So without further ado, let's jump into the review. All right, what do the Justicars look like? Let's get rid of the plastic for a better view. All right, first on the review docket is the Interceptor Justicar. And the first thing that we'll do is take a look at this guy's face. And looking at his face, well, I see that there is slight skinning issues with his eyes. As you can see on this particular eye, he's kind of staring off in this direction. And this eye is staring straight right at you. At least with the mouth area, there is clear separation between the lips and the teeth. So it looks fairly realistic in that aspect. And taking a look at the pauldron on the right hand side, we get to see that it says Victor on this banner here. And just like the rest of the other Grey Knight Interceptors, this Victor part is ingrained into the plastic of the action figure. And this pauldron is a great example of what Joy Toy is capable of. So we're going to flip around to the other side and you have the Grey Knight's chapter symbol right here and once again this symbol does not deviate from what we have seen before the left pauldron is adorned with a lot of words that are raised from the base plastic itself now we're going to take a look at this justin car's heraldic shield and you have this nice rev kind of zip pattern here and then a gray knight sword right here so taking a look at the middle section of the action figure, you can clearly see there is probably an exterminate right behind the tome as well as the sword right here. And this is a little bit different in that the Justicar has a little banner that is underneath. So taking a look at the Storm Bolter right here is clearly wrist mounted and we cannot remove it unfortunately. There is a shield pattern right here. And then the Storm Bolter follows the same pattern as we have seen before from other action figures in that the casing is black and the rest of it is silver. And it's nice to see that the magazine is sticking out from the side here. The magazine is also not removable. All right, the middle section of this action figure is very plainly adorned. You have a gold skull and then you have the nice warm blue glow of the Grey Knights here that is on top of the silver. And then as we flip around to the other side, there really isn't any other accessories that are attached to this belt. The only thing that is attached to the belt is clearly this tabard right here, which is a nice bone looking color and within the recesses you get to see a darker tan shade and as we flip this up it's more of the same so we're gonna flip up the tabard again and take a look at the knee area we have more verbiage on both of the knees right here we have another great knight sword a couple purity seals and that's pretty much it with regards to the legs of this action figure and take a look at the nemesis demon hammer and the demon hammer is very similar to what we have seen before in the likes of Voldis. but regardless let's just take a look at the head of the hammer you have a golden eye a skull more gray knights sword insignia here a gold eye to press onto the flesh of anybody that this justic card decides to smash and then the same goes for the other side as we're moving on down, it's nice to see that this area has a blue glow, which means this is obviously powered. And I'll have to take note that the hose right here also has a blue highlight too, which I have not seen before yet on any of these action figures. And moving on down, you have the characteristic maroon handle and then the gold end. And taking a look at the Justicar's backpack, it is similar to what we have seen in terms of motif, except that there's a very small banner down here that has a lot of scrawl here that is shaded. And so that is the review of the Interceptor Justicar. Let's move on to the Strike one. Alrighty, we have the Strike Justicar in front of us, and let's take a look at his head. And as you can see right here, this guy's face has extensive shading unlike his Interceptor Justicar counterpart. The shading is very extensive, especially around the nose area. The eyes are actually screened pretty nicely, and he's got a very, very deep frown on his face. And moving on to the pauldron right here, 
we get to see Lucius, and this Lucius is also ingrained into the plastic. You flip around to the other side too. Nothing that we haven't seen before. Green Age chapter symbol, as well as more lettering. Just like with his interceptor counterpart, it says exterminate in the back of this Grey Knight's chapter symbol. Taking a look at the wrist-mounted Stormbolter, the difference between the other Justicar and this one is that this guy has a ribbon on it. There's also an interesting light blue highlight that is on the black casing of this Stormbolter. But otherwise, the Stormbolter is unchanged compared to the other action figure that we just saw. So moving on to the torso section of this guy, there's just one little accessory right here. So you got two grenades and then one scroll that is hanging down. But the rest of it is pretty much the same. You got the gold skull, the tan tabard that is hanging down. So we flip this up. It's pretty much the same with no decorations whatsoever. Let's take a look at the back of this just a car and this just a car really doesn't have that much that's going on with the back of it and let's flip around to the other side and take a look at the leg region it has the same wording and patterning as the other just a car so you have the sword right here the lettering as well as the two purity seals and that's pretty much it with regards to this guy i'm going to put them down and take a look at his nemesis four sword so this nemesis four sword is just like the other quote-unquote grunt that we reviewed. So you have these three areas of blue glow that's on top of a very dark gunmetal. But the thing I'm a little bit disappointed by is just the QC right here. I hope that the camera can pick it up and that there is a lot of scratches and dings that are on the sword here. And then as you flip around to the other side, there are the similar scratches and dings right here. So I would have appreciated a little bit more of a cleaner sword, but unfortunately this is what we got. And the sword rounds off to a gold hilt and then black handle and then topped off with a golden skull. Take a very quick look at the backpack. It's got a gold skull and then a purity seal. The other thing that I'll point out is that we have a hand with a purity seal in a very long purity seal ribbon and that it's attached to it. And that is the review of the strike just a car and so the review of the interceptor as well as the strike squad has come to an end with the review of their receptive just a cars that are right now in front of me please let me know members of the chapter what you think in the comment section below and right now i will let you know what i think about these two action figures so with the strike squad just a car I think that the face is fairly decent looking and I think also that the four sword right here is also a very nice design. However, I really did not enjoy the banged up look that I have on it. Hopefully, if you decide to buy this particular action figure, you are not going to encounter the same issues that I encountered on this particular four sword. Aside from that, I really do like the pauldrons of each and every single one of these Justicars. And then moving on over to the Interceptor Justicar, the face uh, was a little bit iffy. Once again, if you picked up this action figure, I am hoping that this Justicar's face is not as messed up as mine, especially with the eyes area. I also really like the Nemesis Demon Hammer on this particular action figure. So once again, we come to the point in the video which I say whether these two action figures are worth it or not. And I'll be honest with you, I think with the whole entire Strife Squad as well as the Interceptor Squad, they seem to be a little bit lacking in my opinion. So would I recommend them? If you are strapped for cash, I think I would probably pass on them is my honest opinion. So if you are interested in picking up these two Justicars, cars, if not the whole entire different squads, just click in the link in the description below where you'll be directed to Flamatoy where I get all my other action figures. And do not forget to use the code SNS to receive 12% off of your purchase. And with that being said, as usual, I'll see you all in the next one.